Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Tarek Time. In the last episode, we did some exploring of the new 119 generations. Found ourselves a mangrove swamp, and then whipped up this amazing little build using the packed mud and the mangrove wood. And I, oh, it, is, it looks so good. Also, uh, there, there was a slight incident with a dear little boy bee called Bartholomew. Unfortunately, he is no longer with us. If you haven't seen it, it, it it's actually tragic. It, quite tragic. The other quite tragic, well, actually more like an atrocity. Uh, I didn't actually show you the interior. I, I just kind of showed off the exterior of this place, but I actually did do a little interior. Not Nothing crazy or special, but you know, it's, it's at least has an interior. It's not necessarily functioning, and there's a little hole with water in it. I, I don't know why, but it, it felt right. But that was last episode, hello my face. Um, I've been doing a little bit of work between episodes, getting some things prepped up for this episode, so let me get you caught up. And before I get you all caught up on everything I've done, make sure you hit that little like button on the video, it truly does help me a lot. Uh, just making sure that people are enjoying the content that I'm creating, and if you're new here, hit that little sub button. I've got a great episode planned out for you, and you're not going to want to miss what's coming in the future either. While I was not sure what I was going to build for this episode, I did a little bit of work on the docks down here and actually extended this section over here. So now we've got a little bit more of a finished dock and we can potentially have another ship or a tower or, well, anything, really. But if you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments. I'm thinking a tower maybe going up to the top from the water, but who knows? I also did one more thing down in the mines because, well, I, I needed a farm for today's episode because I did not have any slime balls. So just down this little corridor here, I managed to find a wee little slime chunk here and installed a pretty basic little uh, slime farm. So we've got the iron golem as the lure, some glass to keep them in there, and then the slimes will just kind of you know, spawn here and go hippity hoppity and fall down there onto the lava and they're Tootsies? Do, do slime have feet? Or do they just have butts? I, I don't know. I think I think they just have butts. That That's weird to think about. But as the farm is only three little layers, it's not the most productive thing in the world, but it has definitely provided more than enough slime than what I'm going to need in, for today's episode, which is going to be all about making a fantastic little home for these little tadpole friends we brought home. And I'm thinking right there that spot on the cliff right there i've got a great little build in mind let's go to it and now you're probably thinking Tarek, it, it, it's just a flat little cliff there, there's there's nothing there and I, I agree with you but that's the reason why i want to build here because i want to give this flat little boring cliff a little bit of life and a little bit of character just to add a little something else to the place i call home dolphin cove first things first is frogs they like lily pads. So let's make a giant lily pad. Perfect. A fancy little lily pad. And then just add a little bit of a, you know, homey feel. We'll just throw some actual lily pads around as well. Just to kind of give it that, that little bit of extra. Because, well, you, you, the, the build's got to be at least a little bit extra. But now... For, for the actual extra part of this build. Um, you might have seen it in the thumbnail because I think it's adorable and it's probably going to be the thumbnail, but we're gonna build a frog. So, what do all frogs have? They got some little webbed toesies, so... We're gonna do a little bit of a... little bit of a quick little time lapsey thing here. Unfortunately, again, without replay mod, but the last one worked out well enough that I think I can do it again. So, let's go.
that's better. So first time I, I, I built them a little bit too tall and it, it just, it, 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 didn't, it didn't look right. The proportions were all wrong, but now we have a happy little orange frog statue and I, I think he's adorable. I, I love it. So now the plan is that I need to make a little bit of a cave. So in here, I'm just gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be digging. Digging uh, for a little while, because I need to make a substantial, well, maybe not substantial is the right word, but I need to make a cave. Big enough that my little happy frog friends can live out comfortably and happily. So they're gonna need a pond, and while well, the cave's gonna need some supports and things like that, so I'm gonna get digging. And I'll bring it back in when this is done, because, well, this is this is just digging. And we now have a cave. An extremely boring cave. But there, there's a little bit of texture here. But I have taken all the ores out of the walls. But that reminded me. There's one other thing I uh, I haven't shown you yet. Um, I, I've been doing some stuff off camera, naturally. So I did a whole bunch of caving to kind of light the caves up around the slime farm to make it work a little bit better. And I was just collecting as I went along and one thing led to another and now I have a mess that I don't want to clean up. So naturally I'm just gonna keep adding to it. Because, well, you know, what, what else would I do with this? It's just, you know, keep keep adding to it, and um, maybe it'll go away. No, it's not gonna go away. Wait, we all know this is not gonna go away unless I clean it up. But that's not a problem for right now. Right now, I got a cave. I need to. Uh, well, I got I got a frog sanctuary. I need to make. So the first thing I think I need to do is cavify the cave because right right now it's it's not so pretty so there's going to be a pond kind of in the middle here but i want the walls to look a little more you know curved and rugged and mossy and water dripping around and things like that so i'm going to quickly just kind of texturize all up these walls and then we'll see where we are from there i think that looks real nice Really roughed it up with a whole bunch of cobble, mossy cobble, moss, mangrove leaves, stairs, slabs, walls, the whole, the whole kit and caboodle. But the only problem is it's only one little corner. So, yeah, I think it's off to a great start, but I, I got to do the whole thing now. So, yeah, I was just about to start recording a clip and yep. Pardon me. Rude. You're gonna hit the squid. Nope. Okay. Enough's enough. Come here. Come here. Ow. Ow. Did he? Nope. Nope. He didn't. Of course not. Naturally, he didn't. Okay. I have been hard at work. They're. They're. There's a trident in my frog's nose. I'm so very sorry. But I've been very hard at work with this cave, and I think it's come, a blah, 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 blah. come along very, very well. Let's take a look. A fancy new little mangrove door leading to the frog sanctuary. Look at that. That looks so cool. So cool. Now, the only thing left to do is shut the door because, well, we don't want the frogs getting out, but we got a whole bunch of little tadpoles that can now grow up here. Yeah. And then of course I just have to wait for them to grow up. So uh, we'll, we'll do that real quick. That took a whole lot longer than I thought it was going to. It was like 15 minutes for these little boys to grow up. And somehow I got a white one. I, I have to look into that. So looking it up, it says white frogs are warm. So, if the tadpole hatched in the jungle biome here, he or she would have been white. So that means that a bunch of these, yes, they have some random forest biome in here. That's why I'm getting the orange ones. But, you know, I'm not mad about it, but I do want a whole lot more. 
Let's make more, 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 more frogs. And there we go. Some more eggs there, there, and there. So now we're gonna have lots of the happy tadpoles running around here shortly. So I'm just gonna deposit these slime balls in here. And I wanna do a little bit more work on the outside here. If I do failing to door. Um, because, well, um, nighttime, one second. Because the reason Dolphin Cove works so well for me is it's it's an environment. So there's lots of leaves and um, the little spore blossoms and whatnot going everywhere, just kind of making it have an overall feel. And that feel stops right there. So we now need to transform this little cliffside. And I've got a couple of ideas for things we can do, but I do need to uh, go clean up my inventory and... Yeah, I'm, I'm still not, not looking forward to that. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. All right. I have built myself a little, little mini lily pad to set up my base camp. And let me just quickly talk you through what I, well, would like to accomplish. For starters, the, 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 as we said earlier, the, the cliff is boring. So I want to build a couple of custom trees. I want to add a little bit of something like a little building or a platform or a hobbit hole something of that nature kind of up in this area and then i want to connect it via a path that kind of snakes along there so i'm going to get kind of working along this and i'll bring in if anything interesting happens but i feel like this is going to be a lot of me me just kind of getting down to it and building so let's uh let's see what happens all righty folks I really wish I could have shown that to you in a time lapse, but I, I, I tried doing the little clip time lapses, but this one, this one was just too much. I've been at this for a good couple of hours, and it's magical. It really is. Like, I, it, 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 you want to see? You want, you want to see? Oh, yeah. So we've got the lovely frog. We've got our, our little lily pad. I, I made another little lily pad as well, and then this massive big custom mangrove tree with roots going all the way down into the water. I've extended the, the little pathway bridge going over to a little hobbity hole there, like I said. It, it's it's turned out oh so very well. So very well. Like Check this out. From up here, where we used to harvest all the sugar cane and whatnot, got this nice little path that kind of meanders underneath the tree. Lots of little lighting and little bits of railing. And I, I, I don't have anything in here yet. I don't know what to put in here at, yet. I am very much open to suggestions. I was maybe thinking something like a sugarcane farm, but I don't know yet. But overall, uh, this is an absolutely amazing little addition to Dolphin Cove here. Like, check just check this out with the little free camera here. Like, look at that. Oh, that's so nice. So very nice. It's just, oh, it's it's so good. It's so very good. And with this, folks, I am going to be wrapping this one up. Thank you so very much for stopping by today. I truly do appreciate you sharing your time with me. And until next time, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.